Well, all this week, Virgin Media Television has teamed up with the Alzheimer's Society of Ireland for a special Donate for Dementia Week. And joining me now in studio is former Justice Minister Nora Owen, who lost her husband Brian to the disease last November. Nora, yes. you're very welcome. Thank you very much to Tara. the program, and my yeah. extended sympathies to you yes, and yeah. to the three boys. It's not that long ago. No, it it's... isn't. And um, but it was kind of coming in a way we had sort of got ourselves used to the fact that he was losing more and more capacity in the last year he didn't get COVID thank God but he was obviously we couldn't go into the nursing home to see him until the very end we got some visits last year but mostly we couldn't go in and I was just looking at the joy of people today being allowed into the nursing homes and that's great where the person is able to talk to them and recognise them. Unfortunately, for somebody with dementia in a, in a nursing home, phone visits were no good, window visits were no good because they didn't understand what was going on. And you certainly, Brian couldn't use a phone or anything like that. So there was a long stretch where we um, weren't able to see him. And that's kind of tough because you, you know you're letting go all the time. And he was obviously losing more and more capacity. His speech went and his power of walking went towards the end. And then what they call end stage dementia. Uh, and his body just gave up, really, you know. And the amazing thing is, and, and the head nurse, uh, we're in a wonderful nursing home, New Park, out in the ward. She said they forget to swallow. Like Brian, they were giving him soft foods, but he wasn't swallowing it. He was spitting it out because they forget what you're meant to do with what's in your mouth. And, and even drinking water became a problem as well. So there are it really all sorts robbed of... Him, didn't it? Yes, it, it really robs people of their capacity. And that's why it's such a... It's such a difficult um, disease for people to get. And it's it's very often long and slow. And as I think I heard somebody talk about it, it's a long goodbye. I mean, Brian started 14 years ago when he was about 72. And the first three or four years, you're making adjustments. You're getting used to the fact that he isn't quite always copping on to things that need to be done. You're making those adjustments. And that's the message I'd like to get across to people who are getting a diagnosis. This week alone, 200 people will get a diagnosis. There are 11,000 a year getting a diagnosis of dementia, some form of dementia. There's several forms of it. And you have to kind of learn how to grow with that as you are growing to, to look after your, your loved one. They are losing more capacity as time goes on.